So oh, my third try at Tampas. I've got myself uh, Dino Atindo. And I think I'm getting turkey wrong, well, I hope. <laughs> but, uh, the guy speaks reasonably good English anyway, you know, even though my uh, Espanol is crap. So, yeah, good advice. I just think I forgot to mention, I had potato chips yesterday with my tapas as well, and they got me again today. <laughs> so it's a turkey roll with potato chips, by well, lots of things. Uh, yeah, okay, interesting combo. This is the place I just went to. It uh, looks nice and traditional on the outside, but it's actually quite contemporary inside. They've got a little outdoor eating area, which is a bonus, I guess. But um, the actual bar I sat at has got a stainless steel top and it's got a, uh, a board in between. So when you're eating, it's a little difficult to lean over. And uh, I had a turkey roll and it was accompanied by <laughs> potato chips. I thought that was a weird combo, but that's the second time I've come across potato chips here. This is something I've, I've heard about in India, but I, it, it's it's a weird combination. And I just had a, um, a vino tinto, and I was given the option of getting the more expensive or the cheap. I said, I'll go with the cheap. I said, I'm not rich. The guy laughs. And he, he understood a bit of English, so that was good. Gee, they work hard there, though. The frenetic pace behind the bar for the staff working their asses off uh, hopefully they get paid well but um, yeah it, it was a, a, a contemporary design in, indoors as opposed to the other place and I thought the menu was much better in uh, Casa Morales so uh, and price is pretty equivalent 530 very similar this time I didn't go for those dry, dry um, bread uh, I don't know what you call them they're in there, they actually sold it uh, at uh, Cara for Express. But they're sort of crunchy bread type uh, sticks, tiny ones. And I'm sure they've got their own special name, I don't know what it is. Dollars! <laughs> Fuskers. Yeah, the mist is everywhere. Uh, it's out in force. So yeah, it was okay. I wouldn't bother going back there though, I don't think. I didn't like the atmosphere is much better in Morales. That, that that's my front runner right now. And I passed on the one here because it looked a little pricier, but they did have more interesting items on the menu. So I might still give it a go. Well I will give it a go. I mean it's, it's not like I'm spending money much. I could certainly I could afford to have three meals a day at Tapas if I wanted to, easily. And I'm only having one. And I think it's still sensible to make my own my own um, salad. I actually quite enjoyed it. So it's so easy to make and so healthy. Crazy to have that in tapas. But uh, yeah, I didn't. It, I felt like there's probably more chance of uh, chatting to someone at Morales too. So it's got a few things. But I like I like the atmosphere a lot more, and I did like the menu more. So. It's a no-brainer, and it's quite reasonably priced, so I'll definitely be going back there. So uh, that was probably my only one, one and only stop at that place. But the first one I went to was okay. Um, I might go back there. They're very local. Uh, so I'll try the other local one, and then I'll start branching out a bit further. But. Uh, yeah, if, if I, I, I flaked out unfortunately last yesterday afternoon, so I didn't have any. Um, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't awake to actually go out and have uh, tapas later, so I'd like to do it at night. Although one of the people that uh, follows my uh, my channel said he had a friend who who got beaten up. He was stabbed in the back of the head of all things. It's pretty gruesome. That was in Spain, not necessarily here. But uh, it just shows you, <laughs> you know, if, you, if you're unlucky, the wrong place at the wrong time, whew, life can be brutal. Uh, I've never noticed any aggro here, but if you, you know, because hey, in the wrong place, who knows? Anyway, I'm going back to one of those noisy, noisy motorbikes are not uncommon here either. Real noisy ones. Probably two strokes, I think they're called. This is a fact you have to come to terms with here. 
there are no screw top bottles of wine in this country. I think it's to protect the uh, cork growing industry, which I think is based in Portugal, from what I can call. Um, so they don't, they're not using the new technology used in Oz, and you still have to go through the task of using a corkscrew to get the wine out of your bottle. I bought a different blend this time. Um, no idea what it's like, but the ones I've, I've been buying are out of stock, or well, one of them is anyway. The first one I had I thought, thought was a bit watery, so I didn't get that again. I got this one instead. It's about the same price. It's only 0.5 euro difference. And um, I'll see how we go. But the one that was on special was definitely the best of those wines. And, of course, it's sold out. I'm going to check out this place here. This is a bigger department store, but it has a um, supermercado. I think downstairs. I've, I've been here before, five years ago, so it was a while back. I say it's pretty hard to get to find, but I think it'll be all right. Um, apparently it's, it's, it's more comprehensive with range and uh, some things are more expensive, some things are less expensive according to one reviewer so I'll just go and check it out. Might get some Cerveza Negra which would be quite nice. I haven't, got, haven't found that anywhere here. It seems to have gone out of vogue which is a worry. I'm inside the uh, supermarket, this is sort of range of olive oil. Asita de Oliva, yeah that's what it's called. So they love their olive oil and it's very healthy and they, they have a very good life expectancy so they're doing something right. Well, I didn't get much change of uh, 10 euro with their shop. I, I got a feeling uh, that they, they don't include VAT when they actually have the prices on the shelves which is a bit of a pain. But uh, they did have excellent variety, I'll give them that. And I finally got myself some cling wrap. So that was good, that uh, it was relatively cheap, less than a euro anyway. And uh, I've got some hot sausage, hopefully that'll go... I could put that in the um, in my salad to give it a bit of spice. Uh, slice it up into small bits, but uh, yeah, I quite like that, that type of sausage. But, uh, anyway, that uh, and, I, and the other thing I found was a... Um, I remember, again, bringing back memories, Superbock, which is a, a uh, must be a locally brewed stout. And that was at less than a euro a bottle, so pretty good value. And I haven't seen it elsewhere, so so I guess it's not in vogue, but uh, I'm glad I found it at least. Still only seen one pack of Parmesan. I have not seen one, I didn't see one there either. And it's a big place. Oh, I don't know what it is with uh, Spanish and Parmesan, just... Uh, you've got, to, you've got to travel over to Italy or something to get decent quantities of it. So it wasn't cheap at, um, at Carafa either. So uh, that's that's surprising. That really does surprise me. Uh, I would have thought it would be a fairly popular cheese internationally. You might be getting wedges more often, but uh, it, in the shredded variety in a pack, it doesn't... I've only seen it once. So there you go. And they must get a few uh, international travellers going in there because there's this uh, woman, uh, young woman shopping uh, and she was talking on a mobile in English. Uh, and I think the one, the woman, actually nearly all the shoppers there were female. It was quite extraordinary that number. Way, way ahead of... Um, at, uh, over there at Mass, which is the other one I go to, so it's just a little further down the road from the one that I, I go to normally. But uh, yeah, just that really caters to uh, probably more upmarket clientele. Because I had a guy next to the escalator who actually directed me downstairs. He actually understood what I said, although I think he, he detected probably from my accent that I'm, I wasn't uh, mate. Hey. Hey native speech. Oh, that's another thing. A lot of people, lot of people distracted is the guy just, <laughs> just in front of me has got headphones on, almost bumped into him. And, it, and so many people are looking at their bloody mobile screens. It's as bad as Australia. Oh. Yeah, SMS zombies everywhere. Texters. The invasion of the texters. It's pretty bad. Oh, anyway, so I guess it was a successful shopping. They've got the, the uh, got some stout. That's really good. So uh, 
yeah, it's worth going there just for that alone. So that's that's good to know. So actually, what a I'm dummy! I should have got my, my bag out and put the stuff in that. I was carrying it in my arms. I I do have a bag I can use. Ah, I did that the other time. Not bright enough today. Anyway, it's uh, good to get out and about. Quite cool, actually. Uh, definitely summer has finished now I must have arrived on one of the hottest days well I'm sure it was because I've, I've been looking at the temperatures and 37 is about the highest got quite a few people watching the videos it's good you know it's encouraging it's, they're interested in the uh, the trip that may may drop off generally do some like tapas reviews I think that'll get a few people watching so we'll see how it goes Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give, do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.